Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline. And Marissa. And we just got back from the movies. We just saw Halloween. It was awesome. It was amazing. Oh my god. It was amazing. We are so excited. First of all, look how cool our shirts our are. Our shirts are Super J22 on Twitter. Shout out to you, you gave us these shirts, you sent them to us, and we love them. Yeah, we love them. And so the movie was amazing. Yeah, the movie was really like, good. I, it exceeded my expectations for sure. I feel like for some reason, like we went into the theater with no expectations. We hadn't I kinda read was any like, reviews. I kind of was like heard neutral. Anything. I mean, I heard it was I heard it was good, but like I didn't really look into what people yeah. were actually saying. Mm -hmm. We didn't so, know really anything. I feel like we would end this with like a blank slate in a way. Like we didn't yeah. like have we weren't like swayed like either way if it was good or bad. It yeah. was just we were just watching it, yeah. And it was amazing. It was so so yeah, good. It was guys. so good. There was a lot of like throwbacks to the original, which I yeah. really, really loved. Um I thought that she was really, really badass. Yeah, also, it's say, really, not spoiler. Not we had a lot of fun watching it though. Like the anxiety that we felt in the theater, it was just Oh my god, so much yeah, stress. Very stressful. Very, very stressful. stressful. It gave us like the cheer filled moments that we wanted. Like there were some times where we were cheering at the exactly. end. Exactly. We were and, cheering. We were also we very, were very scared. So nervous. A lot we of times scared, I had yeah. to blanket up, like ready to cover my face. Like it was. It, it, yeah, no, the it was stressful. Yeah. It was stressful. <laughs> yeah, no, it was really. So if you're looking for a scare, definitely, like, this is definitely it, it was. the movie for you. <laughs> There was a lot of jumping moments in the theater, and, yeah. So yeah. if you haven't seen it, go see it, go and see, then we go can see, talk go about see it. it, because we're yeah. so excited to talk about it. Definitely, I would watch the original before you go see this one. Like, if you haven't seen it, like, this oh, is not a standalone. Oh, you ever, I would. Like, yeah, go watch the first one, because it's awesome. Rating-wise, I think we definitely give this an A+. Plus. A plus. It's off I the mean, scale for us. We for absolutely us, loved it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Five out of five stars. It was just yes, unbelievable. And we're gonna talk about some spoilers that we are dying yes. to talk about. <laughs> So, um, the beginning of this movie starts off in, like, a mental institution, which is super creepy. And so we have the, these two, these two journalists, and they go up and they can't go into the yellow space. Right away, we all knew they were gonna be the first to die. <laughs> yeah. So they Well, they weren't the there. first to die, but they were the they first were, they were on his people list. that we knew that, yeah, died. <laughs> and he comes out and he's like, I have something for you, and he shows them the mask, and... Michael is not turning around. First of all, I, we, we talked about this a little bit before we started filming. I always like how in the Halloween movies, well, except like the late, the newer ones that they've shown where they were had like a pass and stuff for Michael, but we're not talking about those because this is only those the original. Those are relevant right those now. Those are relevant now in this, in this day and age. Yeah. It's just the first one and then this one. Yeah. So I really like how you don't see Michael's face like ever. And when you do, like you kind of get little glimpses of it, but it's still shadowed. And so I really like that because I feel like it like it leaves like the audience to interpret what evil looks like. Like you can't there is no way to really describe him. There's no, like, face, there's of no evil. face of it's evil. Just the mask. It's just yeah. him. Exactly. And I just think it's like a really interesting way of they only show his face when he has the mask on. Like he doesn't like want to be like, shown. Fully. Like they show his face from like they show his head from behind in this movie and like yeah. from the side and like from far away, but but they never zoom in on it. Yeah, yeah. And the first time you actually see his full body shot is when he puts the mask on. Exactly. Yeah. And I just and, and it's, it's a great slow motion. It's a great moment with the music and yeah, yeah that was the wonderful. music. It was so good to be in the theater and hear yeah. the Halloween theme playing. Yeah, it and it played a few times in it, and it was just <laughs> that music is just screams like October for us, yeah. and it's just such a great way to like watch it in the theater and be mm -hmm. excited and really liked um the intro like you hear like the journalists and they're like say something and everybody's like and it's escalating to something mm -hmm. and you think some they're gonna get some interaction or something with Michael something's gonna happen and then it just shoots right to the intro the music starts playing and the intro is very old and it's just if the intro was, reminded me a lot of the first movie. It was just yeah. like the first movie. Yeah. Like there were so many moments that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. But there was a lot of throwbacks to the first mm -hmm. movie which was so exciting to watch. It was exciting, yeah. yeah. Hey, Lori, I loved her as in this hell. movie. She was so badass. She was so ready. So prepared. Just not like even like that afraid. Yeah. Like she was just like, she's been 
like for 40 years this is basically what she's been doing she's been yeah. her mind has been set on killing michael so her but, whole house is basically designed for that obviously when we at the end of the movie yeah. we find out that it's literally was like designed to trap him but um yeah. her security was like crazy yeah i mean her house everything her house is where you want to go in the apocalypse like exactly. she has a bunker ready to go like she is prepared she was never able to fully relax and be at peace with herself because she knew that he was still alive out there and that door was never fully closed for and her she knew she needed to be the one to kill him yeah like, like they had unfinished business the two of them mm -hmm. and i and then her literally she had two divorces her daughter she lost custody of her daughter when she was 12 years old social services came because she was teaching her eight-year-old how to how to how to use a gun like it was yeah. just her life was focused on protection security and preparing for michael it was frustrating in the beginning of the movie how everybody thought she was crazy like oh yeah her daughter her daughter was super her. annoying in the beginning like she was really frustrating me yeah. because i get like she had a messed up childhood and everything yeah. and her mother just didn't give her the childhood that she really should have had. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, you have to, under have to understand, like, what your mother went through. It was really and, bad. Yeah. Yeah, really like, scary. thank God she did act like that because that's what ended up saving all of you at the end because you would have all died. Yeah. If she exactly. wasn't, if she didn't prepare. Exactly. That she literally saved them all. Like, yeah. she was so, so cool. And we'll talk a little bit more about that whole ending towards later on in the video, but I just really loved Lori mm -hmm. in this. I loved how fierce she was and how strong and she was just ready to kick his ass. <laughs> she was. Yeah, it was wonderful. If you notice in this movie, there was a lot of, I guess, Easter eggs, you would call them. Like, there was a lot of, it was very reminiscent to the original film. So, in the beginning of the movie, we have Allison, who is Lori's granddaughter, and her two friends walking down the street. And just the yeah. directing of it. The directing of it was just, like, like, the scenery, like, just the, every, yeah. everything about that scene was, like, it was was similar to Lori walking down the street with her friends, and I, I really love that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was so, it's such an iconic moment mm -hmm. from the Halloween And all film. the friends that she's with, die. <laughs> no, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> naturally. Yeah. And then we had the one friend who was babysitting, that was another kind of throwback yeah, exactly. to the first one, uh -huh. her babysitting the kid, which was hilarious. Like, that little boy <laughs> loved him so much. And then the other one that we noticed was, it was in the trailer, but when Michael first comes and he's in full gear, ready to go, and there's a trick-or-treaters, he goes around the back of the house, and it is the, it is his old house. We're pretty sure we went back. We're yeah, pretty, pretty sure that's, sure that's first, his old, we could be wrong, but I, it looks, it like, looks it, like it to us. Where he goes to get the knife, and then he kills that lady in the house. I think that was his original house, and... And how the camera like follows Michael, mm -hmm. like it's in his point of view and you just see him going. It literally looks yeah. like the same part in the first one when he goes and he grabs the knife. Mm -hmm. before yeah. Before he kills his sister. That's what I, I mean, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded us of yeah. that when we saw it. So mm -hmm. there was that and then the dollhouse, obviously. The and dollhouse. And Lori's yeah. protective house. She had the blue house was there. Mm -hmm. And then we also noticed in the end of the movie when he pushes her off the balcony this is my favorite, yeah. and she falls to the ground and he goes out and he just looks at her and she's gone and then she's gone and i was like yes it was which we was started like, cheering his move. <laughs> we started cheering in the theater when we saw that yeah. but yeah like i loved all like the throwbacks to the first mm -hmm. film like it was just so much fun to see and it was, to yeah. be back in this world was really cool i love the scene when he gets reunited with the mask after like yeah. the whole bus crash and all that like craziness and he he goes to the bathroom yeah. and he ends up killing the one journalist and that scene with the teeth like Brutal. which we saw in the trailer but the teeth uh, scene yeah was just so bad and yeah. it, this movie was pretty gory i thought it like, was like a lot of like the kills were yeah. really like extreme yeah no definitely like and there's like a zoomed in shot of like the guy's mouth open yeah. and yeah, I think it was definitely was. And you see the way that he was able to get, like, that mechanic jumpsuit that he got. Mm -hmm. and he literally was gearing up to go back to Lori and yeah. back to his neighborhood and everything. And, 
Yeah, I think that bathroom scene was really freaky. Like, it yeah. was really intense. Like, her being in the bathroom stall. And that it was, was like, like the first oh, my God, scene. he just came through the door. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then she's screaming for help. And then the other guy came. And then he was smashing his face around. Like, it was brutal death that he gave them. Yeah. Yeah. He was pissed. Because they had his mask. And they were taunting him. Yeah. yeah. Actually, when he first got the, the knife, when he first got his knife and was reacquainted with everything, um... We he doesn't kill the baby, which we I think it was reminiscent to us about like how he didn't hurt Lori as a baby and then had to go finish it. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Like he kills people. He obviously kills like everybody. Yeah, that, like gets in his way and stuff. But at the same time, like he's kind of like on like a path, and like if people mm -hmm. get in his way, he's more likely to kill them. Like when he's like in like trying to get to where he's trying to get to, which is to Lori, obviously. Mm -hmm. But like. Those trick or treaters, he could have killed them too, and he exactly. did it. Exactly, he didn't kill the baby the because, like, kids, yeah, it, it's a lot. Yeah, it's like weird. Like, why? Like, I think it's also interesting to think like a baby, like a baby who's full of innocent, and then this is a man who is just exactly. the embodiment of evil. Yeah, and just the contrasting nature of those two things is just mm -hmm. a fascinating subject. I think. Yeah. So one of our favorite parts of this movie, which <laughs> we were dying at, sitting. was the babysitting with like the babysitter and just like. The little kid. Oh my gosh, was he so was so funny. funny. He's just so, he was so funny like right away. But the whole yeah. scene with the closet, he comes down, he's like, somebody is up there. Yeah. And she's like, no, 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 come in. He's like, no, like, no there's way, someone there's someone up there. there. And he's like, have him go. And like, point to the boyfriend. And then of course, Michael's in the closet. Yeah. Um, but oh. I love how the little kid, the kid's like, reaction to that was really, cool. Like, he like, goes, oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit! And then he runs. He was like, oh, same kid. I don't like. To and then he looked like he was gonna go back, and I was like, oh no, he's gonna help her, and then he's gonna no. end up dead. He goes, oh, too late. And then too late. I gotta go. And then as he's leaving, he sees the boyfriend, and is like, like you got, we're gonna, you're gonna die, bro. Like he just runs he out, of out of there, and the kid lived. I just, think I was that so was happy great. that he lived because I was like, this kid is so funny, and he's gonna die. I, I but, just think it was hilarious yeah. that whole thing because I feel like that's like a realistic like approach to this like you see someone you're gonna you're gonna scream and you're gonna run and you're gonna get the exactly, hell out of there exactly. so it was just really funny mm -hmm. and like i don't know hearing him curse about it like he had like this like mindset of like a little like middle school kid so it was just it was, really it was funny really good, yeah. <laughs> and what was really funny is it was kind of refreshing to have that laugh in the middle of like a killing scene like exactly, it was like exactly. a pretty like it was it dark was a light, stuff. it was a light not like a light moment because he's killing the babysitter but, but at the same time it was good to laugh it was good to laugh yeah. in the middle of like like literally like yeah. on the edge of your seat like stressfully just like blanket up ready to cover the face yeah. so i love that scene yeah it was really funny <laughs> the doctor in this movie was fucking crazy oh my god the doctor that was unexpected because i what? i thought it was a little weird because he was very like he was insane like i thought it was weird but at the same time i didn't think that he was that I just crazy thought he was a I normal just, doctor no i just thought that he was very yeah. into michael because he sees him from like that kind of lens of like a psychologist yeah. but no he was like fucking like that was his hero like he wanted to like he put the mask on at one point he, was he wanted to get michael to talk he yeah. was just he was desperate to talk to yeah michael. he was just it was very just he like was unsettling him. and it was yeah. very unexpected like i was oh shocked. my god we freaked the whole out in the, the theater the whole scene in the car yeah the that whole scene when they're in the police car and she's literally behind there with like behind mm -hmm. in the back seat with michael passed out oh like my god. That was really, Insane. really stressful to and watch. And then he freaking stabs, before that he stabs the cop. He gets his knife and stabs the actual cop. Like, yeah, what okay. is wrong with you? That moment when he actually stabbed the cop, like, shock. We were just shocked. We were like, <laughs> we were just shocked. And then the doctor takes the car. First of all, he puts Michael, like, a cold-blooded serial killer in the back of the seat with Allison. Like, are you kidding? He was so insane. Where did you get your doctor degree that you would do something like that? Like, are you even... That... It was just... Wow. Just insane. And then... But Michael was very focused in on the doctor. Like, when he woke up well, and was he was good awake... Thing, she was able to run away into the woods. Yeah, yeah. He was more focused in on the doctor who he mm -hmm. who he knows was interested in him. He was like, all right, oh my I gotta God. kill this guy. And then he steps on his head. Oh my God. 
my god, that was like Walking Dead right there. Literally, that's what I said. I was like, was wow, there's some Walking Dead shit right there. Yeah, like he literally crushed his head. Mm -hmm. That was madness. And then it was funny though, because while he's doing all of this, a couple feet away, there's another cop car, and they're in the car, like trying to dial into that car, and they're like, what's going on there? Like, not. The, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I think it was really funny the way that, that they incorporated the police in this movie. Because a natural response is it's like, okay, if there's like a killer, call the police, you know? But the police were on it and they couldn't get a handle on Michael because Michael wasn't that type of person, you know? He was just, he was hard. You can't, it wasn't just like, okay, let me shoot him and that's it. Like, he's yeah. somebody who a bullet doesn't harm. He was just unstoppable almost, except from Lori. Yeah. Like what the doctor mentioned though, he's like, I don't think that Michael or Lori can fully be at rest without like that need of like hunting each other. Exactly. And being each other's prey. Like I, there was a quote about that and it was just so true. Like Michael can't die because he still has Lori that he needs to approach. Well, that was, that's and his whole like purpose. Yeah. That is really what kept him going and what kept him just searching is because of her. Yeah. And that's why he was so determined and oh gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think that, yeah, the same goes for her as well because she pretty much trained for 40 years for that moment. Exactly. So she was, yeah, it, she was the same. <laughs> she was ready. I thought that it was super stressful though how Allison was like, running around running around and like <laughs> missing like this whole yeah. time like that whole scene with like her friend in like the i thought her friend was pretty funny though because she he's yeah. literally like i'm sorry he's drunk he's like i'm sorry man <laughs> yeah. i'm leaving and oh he had a bad death too yeah her boyfriend should have died he was crazy the the jerk yeah i kind of wish that her actual boyfriend died that had like yeah that had cheated on her but instead of the friend but yeah. you know i think it was sad to see the friend the friend go even though like the friend tried to get with her and it was like just, yeah, no was, uh, <laughs> allison making her way to the house was just super stressful because i kept thinking yeah. that she just wasn't gonna make it she was gonna die before that yeah, no, exactly. I was. I figured one of them, one of like the big characters, I figured was too. gonna die. I, well, the, hus the um, husband, the husband, husband ended up yeah. dying, which he was like kind of stupid too. He literally was gonna let him in the house, so it, he like, literally goes outside and he sees the dead body and he's just like frozen. He's just like frozen in fear, which I guess is, like a normal reaction. But like you run. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he died and. The whole thing of Michael coming in and the bunker that Lori had down there was just so cool. And yeah, the, the way that she cool. had, she's like turning out off all the lights. And oh yeah, that that was a yeah. great scene when she's in, when he's in the house and she's trying to get him and she has the gun and she's oh my god pushing so a stressful. button and she's close like she's locking all the do yeah. all the rooms as she's like clearing all of them. I thought that so that was stressful. so smart because she's literally like narrowing him down until yeah. she can get him. And yeah, when she gets in the room with all the mannequins, and oh it's just, like my so God. much stress because she's checking in the closet. And the bodies in the closet. And he comes out from like the in the middle of all the mannequins and it was a really nasty fight. And a fight scene. And then yeah. that's when he threw her off the balcony. Yeah, which, which that was one of my favorite scenes. It really yeah. was. And then I loved when he goes down there and he, he hears, um, he hears Karen downstairs yelling and so he knows that there's something going on down there so mm -hmm. he's trying he literally takes that thing that counter and moves it somehow by himself he gets that out of there he he's gets so that fucking strong out of there. Yeah. yeah and so she's still screaming and then she takes the gun and i think when she takes the gun that's when she knows like okay the whole plan was to get michael down into that bunker i think that's when she kind of gets in the zone and she realizes like that's like, her childhood. Her mother trained, yeah. trained her as well for this, like, tried to prepare yeah. her as best, as best as she could. And when she grabs that gun, she knows kind of what she needs to do. Yeah. And I liked her by the end of the movie. Because I didn't yeah, like by her the, end the beginning. Of the movie, I liked once her she again. got Michael, like, once she ends up, like, she kind of, like, tricked him in a way. She was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't yes. do it. And then she ends up shooting him. And, and then Lori, that whole scene was wonderful. Lori had one of the best lines in the movie. Yeah. She literally goes, happy Halloween, Michael. And wonderful. So yeah. great. Oh, my God. That moment we were freaking out in the theater. That was, that a, was, so that was a great moment. <laughs> yeah. That was so exciting. Like, the whole thing. Like, it's not a cage. It's a trap. And it was basically Michael's prison was down there mm -hmm. that she was preparing. And well, because the whole, the whole movie, the whole movie there. is like we have Ka we have Karen being like, oh, this was my prison, this house, and yeah. like her childhood was lost. 
But then at the end, it was like, it maybe it, it was your prison, but it was also like, that his, was his, his prison. And it made you and, now have a life. Like, yeah, now, now like, exactly. And now it's his prison. You're free to have a yeah. life. You don't have to worry about it. And yeah, yeah, that was really great. I just, I really love that scene. The whole thing of like, when they set him on fire and you had that eerie shot of him caged in that bunker, just staring up at her while like the flames just shot just up. Like and, him. Yeah. Yeah. It was just so, so cool. And then the, of course you had that really anxiety filled moment when he grabbed uh I think it was Karen's leg and then you had Allison take the gun and no she takes his knife and starts stabbing him in the hand yeah it was why just, all three of them were like fighting back before they that, actually closed it yeah. that whole thing it was just mm -hmm. so so cool to see this family come together and yeah after be being so and, apart and throughout the whole movie yeah. yeah and then the last shot is the the bloody knife which was really cool like all mm -hmm. the three of them like sitting there like after everything happened and then yeah. my sister mentioned this she was like at the end of the movie, you didn't see him in the fire. But I think that the way that they filmed that was like it was Michael looking up, and then that was the ladder. Like I think it was it from was, a, I think it was point of view shot. But I don't know. I mean, I think he can't. I he think we're done. He, I think yeah, he's no, done. He was trapped in there. I thought it was an, a fantastic ending to the movie. It was. And we, we, absolutely, we absolutely love the movie. We really love the movie. Let us know what your favorite parts or what were my favorite part was probably the ending, the whole fight scene. I think the end. ending was yeah. my favorite. Yeah, I think that definitely made it. And we're excited mm -hmm. to go see it again. We're seeing it again this weekend. We can't wait. Yes. But let us know some of your favorite parts down in the comments below. We'd love to talk about it with you. Yes. And if you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews. You can also follow our Twitter and our Snapchat. We are at City of the Field. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye!